Um, I've heard you've been listening to a lot of Opeth lately, is that correct? Not lately, but you know, this is one of the band which, which is around this, these days, which I like pretty much. Okay, good, okay. And uh, I'd also heard you were a fan of some of Moonspell's stuff, uh, more like their early stuff. Actually, I knew the band from before they will release an album. You know, we were changing tape back in the days, and I knew them from the, the demo uh, time. The demo time? The demo time. Yeah. And, and I think their, their album, um, Memorial, I think. Memorial. The, the one before. Mm -hmm. Got pretty much, you know, the, the, the same vibe that they had at the time, but mm -hmm. with a little bit more experience and maturish thing. And I like that album, actually, yeah. Yeah, they showed a lot of growth in that album, I think. Yeah. 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 Um, are there any other bands or types of music that you find yourself listening to again and again, things you can't put down? Anything. I mean, uh, I'm pretty open minded uh, when it comes down to music. I mean, you know, it had to fit my mood somehow. When I'm on tour, I pretty much listen to classical music, so you make a good break from, you know, what I got every 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 day in my, in my ears. Um, yeah. I mean, some band like Dillinger, Kaplan. I mean, the. Um, uh, Cephalic Carnage, which are playing tonight. I think I think this is a great band. I yeah, mean, I've yeah. seen them in Switzerland, and you know, they're, they're, they pull it off. Really. I, I get a lot of classical influence from your music, so I was I was curious about the classical element. So I was wondering. Well, see, see, you used to do piano when you was a kid, and you left that behind. But at certain point, you know, you kind of came back to it. And, yeah. yeah. I well, I admire Probably him as a keyboardist. I, I'm a keyboardist myself, and okay. I, I really, you know, I, I think he does great work. You know? yeah. I, I really do. Um, in the past, um, you've mentioned a few bands that you just love to share the stage with. Uh, some of the bands you had mentioned were ACDC, Slayer, Korn. <laughs> did I say ACDC? Yeah, yes you did. Well, you did course, say ACDC, but, you know, of course. A little bit over the top. Well, you know, a little legendary, of course. But um, I was wondering if you had um, any updates or newer bands that you were just really not, being not to share the stage with. Even older than, I don't know, Led Zeppelin, let's, let's, let's go that far. But you know, uh, we enjoy playing. A any situation. Um, it's just, you know, this question is a little bit out of uh, context. Uh, oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we play with anyone, you know, what it matters, play for the people, not the band. Only. But, you know, if you ask me a question like this, I'll, you know, kind of try to think about the legendary band. Well, it, you know, it, 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 and it is. It's difficult to just think of bands that you want to play And with we have the chance to play already with, with quite a few bands that we've oh, worked oh, with. Oh, absolutely. Back in the day, so absolutely. Nice. Yeah, okay, cool. All right. Um, now a lot of fans of yours, the, you've got a strong following of course, as I said, um, they know that you have a strong interest in literature, a strong interest in art. Um, H.R. Giger comes to mind, uh, of course Black Trip uh, from Ceremony of Opposites, of, uh, excuse me, Ceremony of Opposites was influenced by one of his paintings. And uh, you have a tattoo, I believe, that was yeah. inspired by another of Geiger's, or Giger's works. Yeah. Uh, what's the appeal with Giger? What do you find so fascinating? I love well, it myself. Uh, I, I mean, uh, I was totally into it, uh, you know, a few years ago. I still like it, but you know, I opened my mind to, to different kind of paintings nowadays. But uh, yeah, I mean, it is really not because we, we finally met, uh, met him, you know, at some point. We, we did a, um, a listening session for uh, Reno Flight at this mu uh, museum in Switzerland. And, I remember that. You know, we met him before to, to discuss the, the formalities, mm -hmm. and uh, he was there that day. And you know, I kind of know he's not into metal. He's pretty much listening only to jazz and some stuff. But that's funny because that fit with the music really. I think you know the the punk, industrial, uh, metal music really fit with with his paintings. Excellent fit. It makes sense. It makes sense to me. And uh, yeah, I mean, you had to like it. Yeah, he's. I, I'm amazed how many bands have used his work for covers. Yeah, Carcass is a fun uh, example. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Carcass, excellent okay. example. Excellent example. Uh, well, I, I know Samuel fans are excited about this tour. Um, what's next for you guys? Well, you know, as mentioned, we're already, already uh, almost at the end of this little mm -hmm. tour. Uh, we're going to play a couple of shows in Switzerland as headliner. Then we're going to do festival this summer in Europe. Oh, wow. And uh, we hope to do a tour for above. I mean, we weren't sure at the beginning, but the more it goes, the more we are ruined to it. So hopefully we're going to do something this fall. It would be nice to do Europe and America, but you know there is no plan at the moment. We're just gonna see where where it's gonna take us. Yeah, any thoughts for Russia? Or do you think you'll be going to Russia on the tour? Maybe. Uh, we might You're probably. Huge in Russia. I mean, we, we're doing good, and we 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 went in contact with the promoter there, and for the two last album we went with him. I suppose we're gonna still play with the same person there. So. Oh, that'd be great. He's doing the great job. So. so big plans in the works. 
Why don't we just keep going? Just keep going and yeah, keep going. Keep going you know, that's, that's the idea. Great. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. Well, I was wondering, do you have any last thoughts for your semi all fans that you'd like to put out there? Well, I hope there's going to be some tonight. And, oh, you know, they're, tons. They're going to be there because, you know, we're, we're happy to be here. So it's nice to share this feeling. Great. Well, we will look forward to seeing you tonight. It's going to be a, it's going to be an amazing show. You guys, that's uh, it. That's it. Yeah. yeah. You guys, you guys have got to check out Samuel on tour. They are just incredible. Great guy. Your thank you so much for taking thank the time you. to speak with Not Sonic Exit.